Well, I've got the altar together. And shelves are in. I got that clamp in there because that bottom shelf, or that middle shelf was riding up a little bit, so I got it there until the glue sets. And down here, this is that removable piece I spoke about in an earlier video. So that will be for attaching to the base. And then once all the screws are in on the base, then that'll go in there. Well, maybe you remember back when I was doing the steam bending for the corners of the pulpit, I said that I couldn't get a steam bend for a right angle 90 degree piece that would make this compound bend. You know, not only like this, but like this in two different curvatures, this side being much more curved than this side, and I'd have to come up with a different uh, solution. So the solution is, is I'm going to, instead of making a single piece that's bent, I'm going to make a piece that fits on the front face, and then a piece that fits on the side face, and have them butt together like this. And I'm going to cut those, uh, hopefully, out of a single piece of cherry. This is like a two and a half inch thick piece of, it's, yeah, a little more than two and a half inch thick, and that's plain. So this is a big hunk of cherry. And I have made these templates. You can see the one for the side here that follow that curvature. Same thing for the front. And I'm hoping to get two um, pieces out of this, which I can cut on this curve and then bandsaw into the quarter inch thick strips I need. And let's hope that works. After bending this little strip here, like you saw, I'm doing a dry fit with just clamps, no glue yet. Um, but uh, I'm able to clamp these, the back side I'm able to do because it's hollow and I'm able to get the clamps around this edge. This top part's going to be another story. But to get this end here, I made a little jig out of plywood, clamp that onto the frame here and then I can get that last little edge there. So this ought to work pretty good and I've got a little bit of overhang so when I'm all done I'll put the altar upright and then use a spoke shave to clean that up and make it flush.
on this front strip, I didn't have to bend with heat because the curve is just not that much. And I was able to use uh, some of these spring clamps to grip onto the side strip that I'd already glued. And then with a few extra long clamps, strategic places, I was able to glue this on. Well, you saw me spoke shaving these edges down, so I've got them pretty smooth, and then I took some 220 grit sandpaper and sanded, and I had some marks there to get out. But I also have on uh, both sides, on the front side piece, I had used the brad gun. So to fill those holes, I'm just gonna use the sawdust with shellac, and that works because shellac is gonna be the final finish. And, and the sawdust is the, the dust from, or not sawdust, but sanding dust, is the dust from the, um, the wood itself. So when the shellac finally dries, the color match ought to be pretty good. And that's what I'm trying to do. So what I did was I sanded, and all those little holes are full of, of uh, sanding dust right now. So I'm putting a little shellac on them, to soak in, and the shellac, you know, kind of acts like glue for this stuff. Okay, and I've got a bunch of extra sanding dust here that I didn't brush off, so I'll take advantage of that, kind of smush it into these holes. Maybe hit it with a little more shellac now. And this is an iterative process. Now I can take my sandpaper again, and while the shellac is still a little bit wet, do some more sanding, and that forces fresh sanding dust into those holes. It also kind of messes up my sandpaper a little bit, but that's all right. And I'll just keep doing this until I think I've got a good enough buildup in these little holes. And the nice thing about this is even after I've got it all shellacked up, if I think I, think I still need some filling, I can just repeat the procedure. And as opposed to trying to use uh, some other kind of filler, which the color might not be right, and it's not easy to reapply and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the back of the altar. And when I attach this to the base, uh, I, I'm gonna use three of these big uh, 14, number 14, three inch screws going hole, 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 near the center of, of, the, of the, you know, the base. And then I'll use these smaller uh, number 10, two and a half inch pan head screws with a, with a fender washer on there to go along the front and back with elongated holes so that the base can move a little bit. Now, since this is a flathead screw, I, I drilled a countersink, you know, a beveled countersink for the head. And because there's a tendency, you know, for a flathead screw to kind of drill themselves into plywood, you know, and pull on down, I didn't really want that. So I'm going to try to stiffen that up a little bit on the, on the hole there on the countersink using a little of this wood hardener, which I had from a job I did on the house. And I thought, hey, why not just go ahead and try to put a little bit of this on each of these holes, and this is the second coat. I did some yesterday to stiffen up that wood some so that the screw head wouldn't tend to try to pull in to the plywood so much.
Well, the, the altar is at least twice as big as the, the pulpit, so I'm putting in a total of eight of these slider feet. And I had to use this special long clamp I had to be able to get this clamp down in the middle. Every once in a while, a big clamp like this comes in handy. Well, now I'm putting some of the uh, dyed shellac on here. I've already got one coat on it. It's a little lighter than I want it to be. And this is what this stuff looks like. Let me open up the container. It, it looked really dark, but it really goes on kind of light. So I'm just going to put a second coat on and uh, bring the color down a little bit. Right, that looks pretty good. We hit the ends, the end grain. Now the end grain is going to require little touch-ups here and there because the, board, the boards that make up this are not all the same. And so <clears throat> I'll have to hit the lighter ones with probably a third coat to blend them in so that everything's the same color. Now you're looking at the back here and the top and bottom boards are about the same color so I should be able to get away with simply one additional coat here that, that I'm doing right now and I just run in between the little groove that I had cut I think that looks pretty good. Now I'll just go ahead and do the front. Well, here's the base for the altar all finished. And I put it on my turntable so it's easier to do finishing on. But this is the front, and it looks to me like uh, the same piece of wood instead of actually two. There's the ends, the back. I love this turntable. There we go. After the finish firms up good, it'll be time to put the carcass on it. Mm -hmm.